In this video, we're going to help this noob unlock the cyborg race, turn it into V2, and unlock V3. But before that, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Num when purchasing your Robux. Where the actor slam on oh, yes. forward. That's your slam. That's the dump. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So guys, are you ready to unlock V3 Cyborg with this noob? But guys, we cannot do that without unlocking the Cyborg race first, turning it to V2, and then V3. So Gamer Nom, what are the requirements? Guys, you should be in the second C, and you need to find the Fist of Darkness. So how do you get that Fist of Darkness, Gamer Nom? There are two ways. First, I'm gonna talk about the easiest way. And that is, there you go, fighting sea beasts. There's a 5 to 10% chance, but if you know the more accurate percentage, comment it on the comment section. For those who might ask, I used Magma Awaken, the Choppa for faster cooldown of skills, and the Fishman Race. Why? So that I am immune to water damage. Okay, guys. Gamer Nom, was it easy to get the Fist of Darkness? Hmm. Guys, to be honest, I defeated Sea Beast. 25 times yes guys you heard it correctly 25 times so gamer nom were you able to get it after defeating it 25 times guys no 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 so guys after more than 20 tries, I accepted my fate. But Gamer Nom, is there another way? Yes, there is. Every 4 hours in a server, you can get Fist of Darkness in a chest randomly, okay? So, with the help of Tom and Zion, two of my moderators in our Discord group, we search all the chests possible in the server after 4 hours. So first off, we went to the raid area. There you go. You have 4 chests here, or 5. We didn't find it, so we went. To the ice castle there you go so we have like one two one here guys i'm showing the chest location so that if you want to get face of darkness it will be easier for you okay there you go so we still have four right four three here one two three and on the back of this castle the roof there you go next up guys we went to the cafe so there are three chests here in the cafe so let's get all of those one Guys, yes, still check all the fruits there. <laughs> Lots of fruits. This is the third one. Okay, so we still didn't get it. So we went here outside. And guys, finally, we got the Fist of Darkness. Oh. Okay, so next thing to do is go to the hot and cold area. Shout out to Zion for the adore fruit. Thank you. We need to go to this area. Okay, this one. Near the smoke admiral. Go. And guys, same with the raid area, but you need to insert the face of darkness. This will show up. There you go. Please supply a core brain to continue. So how do you get a core brain, guys? You need to do the coco raid, the law raid. So first you need to get a chip. So the chip is located here. There you go. At the back of again the smoke admiral. You can buy the chip for 1,000 shards don't worry guys if your friend has lots of chips i mean fragments you can ask them to start it for you there you go so game room is it hard if you're gonna do this solo guys i think this will be hard but if you have friends then it will be easy but just make sure to inflict enough damage so that you will get experience and boss drops Okay, so gamer num again, is it easy to get the core brain? Basing it on my experience, I am a little bit luckier compared to getting the Fist of Darkness with the Sea Beasts. Also, I have lots of friends to make grinding faster or defeating Coco. So while defeating Coco or the raid boss, please don't forget like and subscribe. And guys, that's not my dog, that's our neighbor's dog. Okay guys, so comparing it again to the Sea Beast, I got luckier here. I only needed to defeat, we only needed to defeat Law three times. Yes, three times to unlock the Core Brain. Okay, so after we got the Core Brain, this is what it looks like. Now we are going back to the raiding area. Again, it's located here. Okay, insert the Core Brain. And after that, 
a door will open. You can now go downstairs and unlock, finally, guys, the cyborg race. Okay. We go. Is there a, a requirement, Gamer Nom? Yes, 2,500. Congratulations to us. But, guys, we're not yet done. Guys, check this out, guys. You look a cyborg now. Next up, we are heading towards the green zone. And we're gonna look for the alchemist, right? To unlock V2. Okay, so he's located here under one of these giant plants. There you go. Or trees, maybe. So to unlock the full potential, we need to look for, again, the three flowers. So for the first one, you can get it, the yellow one, from defeating mobs. Any mob will do. There you go, flower three, that's the yellow one. The red one has location, so if you want me to make a video of that, comment it on the comment section. But there you go, flower two is the red one. And for the final flower is the blue one, okay? So guys, once you get all those flowers, you can now head back to him, the alchemist. Okay, so ju you just need to pay him 500,000. And guys, V2 will increase your defense against melee sword and gun. And every damage you take will be converted to energy, 15%. So that's really good, right? Next up, we're gonna head here to the doghouse. Is it a doghouse? Something like that. Under Diamond area, right? So talk to him. You only need a physical fruit to turn V2 into V3. Okay. So after doing that, you will unlock your race skill, the energy core. So let's do this. Well done. Blah, blah, blah. Two million, guys. <laughs> there you go. You will also unlock the cyborg title and the new tile, War Machine. Not bad. So guys, before we end this video, we're gonna try it, right? We're gonna try it. First question, Gamer Nom, is Cyborg Race good for grinding? Hmm. Guys, for those who don't know, activating your skill will damage anyone around you. Yes, I'm talking about the energy core, so let's lure some enemies here. There we go. And if you're getting damage, 15% of the damage will go back to your energy. So you will have unlimited energy. You can use all the skills you want. So check this out, guys. The enemy is being damaged. So I think this is good for grinding. It helps. Next up guys, PvP. Energy core breaks your observation hockey, which is really good, right? To start your combos, etc. So this is really good, guys, for PvP too. And for the increased defense, I'm gonna show it to you. Check this out, guys. The damage for every sword slash is 2,200, right? Now we are gonna activate our skill. There you go, he's being damaged. Now the damage for every sword swing is 1,580. Okay, guys, so those are the benefits of having this race so what do you think guys is it worth it is it hard to get guys comment it on the comment section so guys that's it for this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and gamer nom out